What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. It was a day of upsets, illness, and inspired revivals at the U.S. Open today as fans witnessed the emergence of a future American star. On a day in which Michael Lodra swept Wimbledon finalist and number seven seed Thomas Burdich in straight sets, the biggest upset came courtesy of 220th ranked qualifier Ryan Harrison. Harrison made his U.S. Open debut one to remember in upsetting number 15 seed Ivan Lubacic in a rousing four set win on court 11. To win on this stage here and to take out top 20 player in the world is the biggest win of my career, Harrison said. Two years ago, Harrison became the third youngest player since 1990 to win an ATP match when he beat Pablo Cuevas in Houston. He had won just one ATP hardcourt match this year, but played with more variety and purpose in dispatching Lubacic to avenge his loss to the towering Croatian in Indian Wells in March. He's definitely a good player, Lubacic said of Harrison. Burdich looked unprepared and lethargic from the start of his match. On a day in which on-court temperatures soared to 104 degrees, Burdich wore an all-black outfit and his mood never really brightened as he failed to break serve in a tame exit. Burdich's loss came the day after his Davis Cup teammate, Rodik Stepanek, lost. The day season got off to a frightening start as number 10 seed Victoria Azarenka collapsed to the court and was forced to retire, trailing Gisela Dulko 5-1. Azarenka, regarded as the contender for the title, was treated for about 20 minutes in a room right off the grandstand court and was then taken to the hospital for further treatment and evaluation. Though her collapse initially appeared to be heat-related, US Open tournament referee Brian Early said Azarenka retired with headache-like symptoms. We can say that this does not seem to be primarily heat-related illness, Hurley said. Victoria Azarenka gave a statement on the circumstances of her retirement earlier today. I was warming up in the gym prior to my match against Gisela Dulco. When I fell while running a sprint, I fell forward and hit my arm and head. I was checked by the medical team before I went on board, and they were courtside for monitoring. I felt worse as the match went on, having a headache and feeling dizzy. I also started having trouble seeing and felt weak before I fell. I was taken to the hospital for some medical tests and have been diagnosed with a mild concussion. In a battle of young Americans, Sam Querrey faced off against Stanford NCAA singles champion Bradley Klon and gave the 20-year-old Klon a harsh welcome to his Grand Slam debut. Querrey chased down a Klon drop shot and accidentally fired a shot into the groin of his practice partner, prompting a collective groan from sympathetic male members of the crowd. I didn't mean to hit it there, Query said. I felt bad because he's my buddy. Former world number one Anna Ivanovic advanced to the third round for the first time in three years with a 6-3, 6-0 win over number 21 seed Zheng Jie. Anna has dropped only eight games in her two first round wins. Well, that wraps us up for today. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. To get more of your U.S. Open updates, go on to the Tennis Now homepage. I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now. See you tomorrow.